events in half an hour, all the key participants and other important guests from around the city and around the world have been processing into the cathedral from Leicester's historic guild hall just a few yards from here before they pass into the cathedral building itself. Sonali Shah is with them live exclusively for Channel 4. Hello and welcome to the Guildhall's Great Hall. Now it feels only fitting that I begin by speaking to the two people whose passion led us to Richard III's remains. Philippa, you've been to many ceremonies this week, I know. Is this perhaps the most important, a chance to say a final goodbye to Richard? It is. You know, it's been ten years' work and this is the culmination. This is what we were always aiming for. So yeah, there's a lot of anticipation this morning. John, one of your big drivers has been to give Richard what he was denied in 1485. Has this week given you a little bit of closure? Oh yes, I mean, it, there was an absolutely wonderful moment at the Compline service when I saw that little girl guide come and put the crown I'd had made on the coffin. And for me, that was absolutely great, for Richard to have the crown back that he'd lost in 1485. Philippa, it's been a long journey for you, not as long as Richard's, but over the past few days you've shared that with the nation, 20,000 people filing past the coffin. What have the public been saying to you? Oh, do you know, it's been absolutely amazing. I've been living it here and, and standing with them, and they just come up and they shake my hand and say, thank you. That's all they say, is thank you. So many different reasons, and from around the globe, from every corner of the globe, so it has really been... It, it's something we didn't see coming. Thank you both for your time. Joining us here outside the cathedral, 